hospital it was a whole thing um which seems to be a new thing every time I move somewhere I gotta get sick and go to the hospital I don't know it's getting expensive so today I'm going to do crafting I'm gonna um, decorate my paddle I bought I got it to the Michaels um, I used a coupon on it so I got it for like four dollars and fifty cents or something like that and then I have a bunch of stuff that I already had around the house to decorate with and so I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, uh, let's see, some updates or information. Um, my promoter search is, um, I started it and it was going well and then I like crashed and so that's down for now. Um, I might try it again over the summer. Uh, I just, I couldn't keep up with it. I couldn't keep up with a lot of things. I got sick, got busy, got busy and sick, uh, moved houses. You know a lot of things a lot of things happen so um yeah and as you guys can see i'm in my mumu uh crafting wear my lounge around the house look you know for that everyday little uh <laughs> because i'm gonna be working outside and everything and i don't want to get my stuff dirty and this is my yard welcome to my yard um yeah it's not much now we'll work on it um get it nice and green so I can play out here and stuff like that uh, yeah so let's get some painting done okay so here's my paddle that I'm gonna work on um, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is take this strap off because I'm not gonna get that paint it and I'm going to replace it anyways and I'm using just this regular um, acrylic paint um, I thought I had an extra sponge I didn't so I'm using one of these uh, reusable paper towels I have it's like very cheap cloth polyester probably kind of put some gloves on because I don't want to get my hands messy And then I'm literally just going to glob this on here and spread it around. And I'm going to do the front first because I want to make sure I have enough paint um, to at least get that part done. The back I'm not that much worried about. I don't think this needs to be shaken much, but I always shake paint because life. And then we're going to do the front. We're going to let it dry and then we'll flip it over and do the back. I probably won't record doing the back, to be honest. Choo, 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 choo. Alright, so there we are, and like I said, it's pretty much drawing instantly out here in the sun, but I am going to leave it out for a little while to make sure it gets completely dry because there are some parts that have like a thicker amount of paint on them. So, and we're going to lean it up over here and let that do its thing. Okay, okay. so... <clears throat> On my little craft mat, we're inside. I've got it all painted, and uh, off camera, I put some lines on here for my letters. Um, I used, um, I have this. 
I got it from the Dollar Tree. And then I also have my super quilt grid. Um, this one's more expensive, but you could use either of them to get this done. And all I did was mark the um, where my words are going to be on my board. Um, I'm saying um a lot again, you guys, because, you know, I'm out of practice. Uh, da, 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 da. My letters... I've decided on my words, and then I put my word on my phone, so I'm going to go get my tablet. Aha, there we go. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. Except for on here, with these. Alright, but before I get to that, we're going to put the lace on the back. around the handle but now that I'm like got it I like I don't so I might skip it because I was gonna do lace around this handle too but I think I'm not going to I'm gonna skip it and then I'm gonna use my ribbon and this one's like off white it's not white but I don't know where my white is and honestly it's not gonna bug me that much I'm gonna put a bow here I could put one of my Disney pieces in there because I love Disney so much, but actually I might just put a big rhinestone in there. Because I'm gonna do the all the decorations in rhinestone, so I think I might just put a giant rhinestone in there. same shiny as this one. Just put it right in there. But if I do that one that small, I'm going to have to put a wrap around it. You guys, I didn't put this through very well. Hmm. This one, what color is that? I think that's yellow. That's the purple. stands out like it's worth them. I don't know. Like I like it but I don't like it. I think I'm just gonna get a giant one.
completely forgot that I printed out all of these to make pasty charms and so I was like you know what I should use one of these um and I'm like I want to use one of my Bowsette ones but I kind of also want to use my Ahago mm -hmm. I don't know I also have all these other cute ones and all these pin up ones down here so cute and the pandas I don't know I think I want to use my Bowsette those use my redhead Bowsette I actually want to use this one yeah. Use this one. So. Mm -hmm. I might have cut that a little close. And normally I would mod podge the back of this to seal it if I was going to glue it, but I don't want to. So we're just going to toss that bad boy in there. So cute! So stinking cute. Alright. So, let me make sure my boat is centered. I'm just going to be centered to where my letters are, which are right here. So, let's put a little bit more glue on that. And again, this is the um, back of my paddle, so none of this should actually touch the bottom. This is all bottom touching side. <laughs> Look how stinking cute that is. You guys, and I can't wait to make you guys hair bows. I've got um, supplies for that coming in. So I'll be making hair bows for purchase and such. And I think this line is too far up now. So I might actually just do it right under these lines versus doing it on top of the line. So I'll line it up to the bottom of the lines. I'm going to put the letters on. And this is the easy part. I'm just going to peel up this whole thing and this is going to go around the border. so cute all right let's work on this I think I'm gonna do the little in pink so pink blue pink blue is how I'll probably do it or I can always just change it up like intermediately change no I'm gonna do a pink blue pink blue so needs to be on either side of the center mark and try and keep it as straight as possible.
Okay, so I um I went ahead and mixed the colors in the last two words, so it's Little Bitch's Attitude Adjuster. And it's kind of center, but it's kind of not at the same time. I um, realized a little bit through the way that I needed to... Sorry, I was showing Daddy what I had done so far. Um, that I should have made it all capitalized, so it kind of threw off the groove a little bit. But I'm still okay with it. I think it looks good. Um, so there is that and so we're going to do the handle and then after we do the handle the last part I have to do is coat it in Mod Podge to make sure it uh, gets sealed in there and those get stuck forever and last through a few beatings. So I'm going to leave this on. There we go. Alright. And then four. one, two, three. Of course I'm shy, just one. Alright, whatever. We'll just take off the thing. And I'm gonna glue these down because I'm not gonna put Mod Podge in the handle. Oops, that's a little too much glue. Last thing I gotta do is this part, which is the amount I'm gonna use for the handle. Super dazzly. Yeah, and you can tell that's like different, but you know, honestly, I don't care. I just like the tassel effect. Yes, yes, I do. Spread it out a little bit. There we go. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. And there we are. There we have it. Good for paddling. Um. And then, like, again, the last thing I'm going to do is, and I'm going to pretty much do it the same way I put the paint on, is I'm going to squirt it on there, and then I'm going to wipe it down with one of those um, recyclable paper towels I have. Not recyclable, reusable. Yep, and get it all in place. And that is it. That's done. So, bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye.